So welcome everyone to the Monk's Life Project. This is the place called International Forest Monastery. This is the place that designed for the Monk's Life Training for 30 days. We are located in the northern part of Chiang Mai, Thailand, surrounded by the beautiful nature with lots of trees and streams. The place is just so perfect and conducive for spiritual development. If you are looking for the place to join the ordination for 30 days and walk the path of Dhamma, not only to looking for the purpose of your own life, but to develop or deepening your meditation practice, this is the place and program for you. Here we have 30 individual hut where you can stay by yourself with some privacy. It's a three by three hut with the big tents and you can stay comfortably. Program is divided into four weeks which is 30 days. The first seven days, we prepare you to ordain as a Buddhist monk. You need to know what to prepare, uh, the chanting, the process of how a man can become a monk. You have to observe eight precepts. Uh, wake up early in the morning, around 4.30. At 5 o'clock, we join the morning chanting and we meditate until 6.30. Breakfast will be served around 7.30. And in the 9.30 is another session for meditation session. And we meet again around 2 o'clock for the Dhamma talk and meditation practice. And you also have another personal time around 4.30 to 6.30. And the evening chanting starts at 6.30 all the way up to 8 o'clock. So this is the general schedule on a daily basis. And that's the first week. It's going to be the most difficult week, the most challenging week for many of us uh, to prepare you to get accustomed to uh, the new life. The second week after you become a monk, it's going to be a little bit more relaxed. Okay, uh, We teach you how to, how to dress like a monk, how to eat like a monk, how to walk like a monk. There are all kinds of monk's manner that you need to understand and, and put into practice. And at the same time, we'll start introduce you to the Buddhist principle the Dhamma that the new monk should learn and understand. Also, we will teach you how to practice meditation properly according to the Buddha teaching. We have four sessions a day. For those of you who love to practice meditation, this is the place for you. Early morning, late morning, afternoon, and evening. And some of us even go further. They practice on their own, you know, one or two extra hours before they go to bed. The place is just perfect for this spiritual development. And, and we also have extra activity for you to gain the most benefit out of your 30 days. We have the wandering walk, uh, Tudongka walk, where you have a chance to actually walk down into the village and to see the life of the Buddhist, uh, lo local Buddhists here. The new monk, we also have a chance to go arms round. Okay? We will take you to the village and receive food from the lay people. Uh, when you come back to the temple, you have to reflect on the food that you receive, you know, learn how to be content, and you have a chance to practice eat off from the bowl mindfully. This is something, uh, it looks simple, but it's not easy. And another thing is that during the day, uh, there's a place where you can meditate on your own. Okay? Outside of the meditation room, there is uh, this surrounding, there is a place where you can sit and meditate on your own. Uh, if you like to do walking meditation, we also have the walking pad where you can practice walking meditation with the group or you know, by yourself. So in Thailand, we have over 30,000 temples throughout the country. Virtually, you can walk into any temple and ask for ordination. If the preceptor accept you, then you can ordain. Ordination takes about 30 minutes for a man to become a monk. You walk out of the chapel, you can be called a Buddhist monk. But the question is, what happened to you tomorrow morning? Who is going to help you get dressed? Who is going to teach you what you can do, what you cannot do? So in this program, we are aware of that important factor. Because ordination is one thing, but the training is another thing. If you have 30 days in your life and you want to invest, we want you to get the most out of it. So we designed the program just for this. There is a fixed schedule for from day one until the end of the program, what the new monk should be learning. We precisely customize the program that fit the participant of each batch. That is why I would like to welcome to join the Monk's Life Project because we pay attention to every single step of how a man can become a monk and of that monk to get the most benefit out of his 30 day of investment in this spiritual journey. In this 30 day program, you have a chance to develop at least four areas of your life. The first one we call the physical development. You will learn how to regain your physical strength. Here we do things on time. Imagine that if you go to bed on time, you wake up on time, and you eat on time, how much your body would be appreciated. And this helps lay down a good foundation for you to learn Dharma and practice meditation. And the second area is called social development. Buddhist monk, we're not alone. We live together as a group. 
especially in this international community. We have come from different corners of the world, different walks of life, different backgrounds, and how can we live together in peace? If we cannot make peace here among 20 of us, forget about world peace, it's just impossible. That is why social development will be developed. You need to learn the precept of the monk, what you can do, what you cannot do. And on top of that, you will have a chance to develop the monk's manner of what you should, such as keep things clean, organized, uh, being on time, being, uh, being more considerate, something like this. The third area is called mental development. Here you have a chance to meditate at least four sessions a day. Every activity that designed in the training, it helps you to be more mindful. You have a chance to practice mindfulness the moment that you wake up until the time that you go to bed. And practice meditation four sessions a day. Early morning, around 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Late morning, from 9 to 10. Afternoon, around 2 to 4. And in the evenings, okay, from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. This four session is a routine for every one of us here. And that's helped us to understand how to practice meditation properly and understand the, to overcome the obstacle in your meditation practice. And the fourth area is called wisdom development. This is the essence of the teaching of the Buddha. When everyone comes to his teaching, this Dhamma is something that everyone should understand and put into practice. You have a chance to access to the authentic teaching of the Buddha, which is kept in the Buddhist text. We will customize those teachings, the essence of the teaching of the Buddha in those texts, put into the easy way, put into the practical way that you can understand and put into practice on a daily basis, including the Four Noble Truths, the Eight Four Path, and the Law of Karma. So if you're looking for the meaning of life and how to live good life, ordination is one promising option for you to find that answer. We cannot just sit and think about the meaning of life, about the purpose of life. The only way that we can find that answer from my point of view is to have a chance to practice meditation and study the teaching of the Buddha. So Monk's Life Project is organized every other month. We look forward to welcome you to join our brotherhood.